In this video, we're gonna go over five of my favorite VSTs to use for gospel music. Some of these VSTs you may have heard of, and some of them may be completely new, like this one. Coming in at number five is Altera Keys made by Impact Soundworks. I'll leave the link below, but this is a interesting um, VST. It's more of a Rhodes and pad. Like, check it out, check this out. So we got this Rhodes sound in there called Rhodes MK Ballad, but we also have a pad underneath it as well. And I turned off the release noise in the tines, but you also have this texture in here as well. So check this out. And there's a bunch of other sounds in here as well. Let's go to one more. So that shimmer and the textures that you hear in this VST really makes it unique and sound different from any VST on the market. Coming in at number four is Galaxy Keys. Now this is a piano library that I got put on to like maybe four or five years ago, probably longer than that, but check this out. The piano on this uh, VST sounds incredible. Let's check it out. Now there's a lot of options on this piano that you can choose from. You can change the space. You can put a pad underneath this VST as well. You can kind of change the tone of it, change the lid settings as well. But that is Galaxy Vintage D Keys. And I'll leave the link below of the company that makes this software as well. Coming in at number three, and this one may surprise you, Keyscape. Now Keyscape is an incredible, collection of sounds and software. Now my only issue with Keyscape is it uses a lot of CPU power. So what that means is if you are recording a large session and you pull up Keyscape and you want to play keys along with this session, it's going to choke up your computer a lot and you're going to get a lot of error messages because it's like it's CPU hungry, if that makes sense. For those of you that use Keyscape, you already know what I'm talking about, but it sounds incredible. Let's check out the LA Custom C7.
Now, a fun fact about Keyscape, um, I was watching a video, and to my understanding, it took them about 10 years to actually get the piano right and ready for release on Keyscape. So it is a well-built VST. It's actually probably one of the most sonically sound VSTs that I actually own. So Keyscape, I highly recommend Keyscape, but just be aware, it's gonna use a lot of your CPU um, power when you're actually using it. Now, I do have a MacBook with 64 gigabytes of RAM, and still, sometimes it chokes up the CPU um, power on this MacBook, and it's fully loaded. So just keep that in mind. Would highly recommend Keyscape though. Coming in at number two is MK Sensation Extreme. Shout out to my guy, Jamal Hartwell. He's been making incredible software and products for the past, I don't know, over 10 years. And he's been killing the game right now. Shout out to gospel uh, musicians, but let's check out MK Sensation. <laughs> MK Sensation Extreme is a library that I use a lot and I would highly recommend MK Sensation Extreme. Um, if you're looking for a library to add to your libraries that you already have. Now, before I tell you what number one is in my favorite VST that I use on a consistent basis, um, we're gonna go over some sound products that didn't make the top five, but I would highly recommend that you check out these products. Some would say these products are underrated. So coming in as honorable mention, I guess that's what we'll call this list is that gospel patch. That gospel patch is something that I worked on for Logic Pro X. Um, and this is what it sounds like. Another product that I worked on is Dunamis Grand. If you know, you know. That gospel patch was created using vintage gear that I have collected through the years. So I sampled in that gospel patch into my doll and I've made it available for Logic Pro X. And Dunamis Grin is available for Logic Pro X as well. So check those out. The link is below as well. Coming in at number one, for some of you guys, this is gonna shock you, but your favorite producers in the industry, this is a VST that they are using. Um, some of your favorite guys that you may watch on YouTube, this is a VST that they are wearing out and using a lot. And it happens to be one of my favorite VSTs as well. So let's find out what it is. Drum roll, please. Another one. Another one. Ravenscroft 275. This is one of my favorite pianos to use on records. It just sounds so good and real. Let's check it out.
one of my favorite VSTs to use. That's Ravenscroft 275. Let me know what you guys think about this video. I really enjoyed making this video. Comment down below if I forgot any VSTs, if there's some other VSTs that you can put the community on, so to speak. Um, let me know what you think about this video. Comment down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I do have some affiliate links below. So if you wanna help support this channel and the things that we are trying to do to grow, um, do that for me. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. That's all we got for today. We are out.